in Genesis, God took the power of the word of God. He looked at the disaster on planet Earth. Because understand that there's what is called a, the gap theory, which, which suggests that there's a gap between Genesis chapter number 1 verse 1 and Genesis chapter number 1 verse 2. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Verse 1. And then verse 2. And the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep. If God created heavens and the earth and then there was no form, are we saying God created something with no form? Definitely not. Between Genesis chapter number 1 verse 1 and Genesis chapter number 1 verse 2, there is a gap. In that gap is the gap where there was disaster on the earth. And what you call creation from Genesis chapter number 1 verse 2 downwards, when God said let there be, is not actually creation. I'm changing your theology. It is a re creation that's why he says let us replenish the earth he didn't say let us replenish he says let us replenish in other words there was the original replenishing and uh, now he was replenishing could it be that your life is just in limbo because you have not replenished you have not reordered so he said let there be light uh, could it be that you have not said let there be light to your destiny so you are still you are still groping in darkness because you have not allowed your destiny to have a let there be light uh, sometimes there is a light in your marriage but there is no light in your business uh, so you are happily married but broke because you have not said let there be light because the light for the lounge does not light the dining room, the light for the dining room does not light the kitchen so it could be that you need to have many different lights that you need to open your mouth and do what God, God did in Genesis and say let there be light it doesn't matter even if there's darkness the Bible says God had the power to pull light out of that darkness it could be dark right now but out of that darkness you can pull light let there be light God didn't create light he just said let it let, let in that darkness he said let there be light you're in a dark situation but I speak and let there be light it's darkness over your resources let there be light it's darkness over your health but let there be light if you go to the doctors and there's darkness the doctors will not be able to see anything the MRI machine will be confused the scans will be discombobulated they will not be able to articulate to ascertain or to see what is happening so before you go to the doctor you better say let there be light somebody shout let there be light Say, let there be light. Ah, where am I? Where am I? So, 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 so you can reorganize your life. He says, though your beginning is small, yet your later days shall be great. That is the God order. So the devil can reorganize your life for you until your beginning is strong. And your later days when you can't work, you are weak and you are poor. This is responsible for former champions uh, who start well but finish pathetic. So you can take a scripture and use that scripture uh, to edit your life by reorganizing your life. The path of the just. shines brighter and brighter and brighter until the perfect day the perfect day is when you go up so you can reorganize your life until every day your life gets better and better and better because you have reorganized could it be that you are commentating on a life you should be reorganizing? God used the word to reorganize the earth. You take scriptures that you like and begin to change what you don't like. You are reorganizing your life. Now, this is beyond men of God pray for me. Uh, this is called working out your own 
salvation this is this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth but you shall meditate in it day and night be careful according to do all that is in it forget all that then you shall make your way reorganize <laughs> you shall highlight 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 you shall make your way prosperous so to make your way means you are re organizing your life to, 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 to what God said not what some wizard said uh, for then then you not the pastor you shall reorganize your life and you make your own way prosperous you make your way prosperous if I'm reorganizing my life I will remove poverty from my life uh, uh, when you're reorganizing you take out poverty uh, and you put prosperity you make your way prosperous there's no poverty there uh, and then you'll have not just success but good success uh, good success is durable success uh, I don't just want wealth I want durable riches Proverbs 8, 8, 8 durable riches so, so, so if I'm losing money I can reorganize my life uh, by applying Proverbs 8, 8 durable riches are with me durable, tangible rich Marista Perry maybe in your family poverty uh, came and uh, just sapped out money from your forefathers but you can reorganize your life and say that my case is different uh, my own life uh, I, 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 I added out that, that rise and fall and I'm putting Proverbs 8.18 durable riches Latina, enduring riches your life will never go down uh, but you better have a scripture to, uh, uh, to attach to that desire say I'm not going down anymore 